friends welcome to my channel so today i'm going to give us a glance of what we are going to be doing what you should know that whatever we do here doesn't involve anything programmatically it doesn't involve any ide but it is very important if you are using firebase and you are in your production stage so a lot of us use firebase not necessarily firebase database or firebase firestone if you use firebase services so all firebase services involve firebase api key so we're going to uh, we are going to configure our firebase account in the sense that firebase will really respond to the app that we provide so how we're going to not notify firebase of our app we're going to use the app package name and the shawan key so i've created my firebase account i've connected it to my app i've done the necessary thing in my id no matter the id you use it doesn't matter as far as an android app this tutorial is for you so i've connected it as you can see this is the key the key created by the firebase but this is in firebase website this is google's cloud so i'll provide the link after i'll provide the link in the description so you can just come here as long as your firebase project has been created it will, it will show here so if you use firebase services and you as we all know firebase info is public that is anybody can see it but now firebase api encryption makes it that even though they can see it it will be useless to them so it will be useless to for their own usage so it will only respond to the app you want it to respond it can respond to multiple apps it can re respond to simple apps so if you are if you are building production and test and test mode app you can supply the information of these two apps to firebase so firebase as you can see i've already set up i've set up my test mode I've set up my test mode how you will set up your own is you click on this add board add item you click on add item you click on add item so you add your package name your package name and your shower fingerprint after adding it after adding it you click on save if you want to get your shower key for me I use this APK to get my Shawan key easily. I'll drop the link, the download link for the APK you can download and see. So you can use it to get your app Shawan key. You can use it to get your app Shawan key. Then you supply it to to fire to your Firebase Google Cloud account. So like I said, you should take notice of our of our package name. This is my package name and this is my Shawan key. So it has been copied. So all I just need to do is provide the package name. Provide the package name. All I need to do is provide the package name and the app Shawan key and click on submit. So package name, the app Shawan key this is where you put the Shawan key. Shawan key is here. So also we also have to set our application restrictions. So add item. You add your item. Remove this shower. So 
so you should start from D the package name then you click done done come dots then you click done then you click save so let me give us an example of what it does of what it does I'm going to uninstall the APK I'm going to uninstall the APK to show us an example of what API en encryption actually does our APK from ACAS having access so it, it gives us because Firebase when you have a lot of users or you have a lot of data it will start charging you so to prevent unnecessary charges charges you didn't plan for so I have these two APKs but they are signed with two different key they are using one package name they are using one package name they are using one package name but different signature so even though the user the hacker uses your package name they can they can't be able to still manipulate your firebase data they can't be able to manipulate it they can't be able to manipulate it so this is the one I didn't register. I didn't register it to Firebase. The only connection it has with my Firebase is with my if it has package name the same and it doesn't matter if the package name is there. Firebase won't respond if it doesn't if the signature doesn't correspond to the one I submitted. So this signature isn't even recognized by Play Protect because the app is originally on Play Store with this original keystone. So Play Protect uh, doesn't really recognize it, but it doesn't mean the app is actually harmful. It just means the signature isn't isn't recognized. 